Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, March 19th, a cloudy and chilly morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Two different reasons why precipitation is breaking out in the I-95 corridor right now. One is a, a moist flow of air off the ocean, low level east to northeast winds in the big cities right now, causing some light rain or drizzle to break out. And later on today into this evening, there will be frontal system uh, showers moving into the I-95 corridor. Right now those showers are occurring in the Ohio Valley. Let's take a look at the very latest radar loop from the Penn State Ewald site. You'll notice the last couple of frames here, some decent showers starting to break out west of DC and even some drizzle and light rain across the uh, Philadelphia uh, uh, metro region and the suburbs and across New York City. Now it's cold enough in the suburbs of the big cities right now that over the next few hours there can be some mixing in with ice pellets, maybe even some light snow uh, north of the Philadelphia uh, region and New York City, and there can be some freezing on some untreated surfaces in suburban locations, uh, especially like well west of D.C. in the higher elevations and in the northern and western suburbs of D.C. and, uh, of, uh, excuse me, of New York City and Philadelphia. Now, this afternoon, the, the precipitation should be in the form of plain rain, throughout the area with temperatures well above freezing. Notice here some heavier bands of rain out here over the Ohio Valley. That uh, could potential could move into the Mid-Atlantic region during the latter part of the afternoon into the evening. So generally light precipitation this morning, maybe a few heavier showers in the form of plain rain this afternoon and this evening as a frontal system moves in from the Ohio Valley. Well, here's the current surface map, and again, two different reasons why precipitation is breaking out uh, this morning in the uh, I-95 corridor. One is a flow of air off the ocean, low level east to northeast winds, high pressure still anchored over the northeast coast. That'll pull off the coast today, but winds flow clockwise around highs, and that is pushing in some moist air off the ocean, causing some drizzle and light rain to break out right now in the I-95 corridor. Meanwhile, Precipitation associated with this storm and cold frontal system out over the Ohio Valley will squeeze in from the, the west and we'll get some rain shower activity this afternoon into the evening from this frontal system. That front clears the coast by morning. We get clearing skies on Thursday, windy conditions but noticeably milder with the return of sunshine. Well, here's the current infrared satellite imagery loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. First of all, the main band of clouds associated out uh, with this storm and frontal system out over the Ohio Valley, even kind of a spin in the atmosphere right here, low pressure centered over western Illinois, the, the front extending all the way out to Ohio, again with showers that will move into the mid-Atlantic region later on today. Meanwhile, here over the I-95 I corridor, some low clouds and some occasional light rain or drizzle right now. Uh, partially the result of a moist ocean flow of air, low-level northeast to east winds over the next several hours. Well, let's walk through the rest of today and uh, nighttime hours with uh, computer forecast maps from last night's Zero Z NAM model run. This is for 2 p.m. this afternoon. Notice a, a decent area of precipitation uh, uh, throughout the mid-Atlantic region. By this time, it'll be in the form of plain rain. Just to the west, there's some precipitation in the form of rain out over Ohio and eastern Indiana. That's associated with that frontal system. So again, we have a, a nice flow of air off the ocean this morning, causing some occasional light rain or drizzle, maybe even a wintry mix in some suburban locations. And then later on today, we'll get some frontal activity, and that could produce a little bit heavier rainfall later on this afternoon into the evening hours. And here's the forecast map for 8 p.m. this evening from last night's NAM model run. Notice a little bit heavier precipitation depicted here by this model up and down the I-95 corridor across D.C., Baltimore, and into New York City. There will be a little bit heavier in the in way of rain shower activity late in the day into the early part of tonight. By late tonight, clearing skies will start to set in. In fact, let's jump ahead to the late night forecast map. And here's the forecast for 2, 2 a.m., Overnight tonight, still some heavy precip depicted here, heavier precipitation in the form of plain rain over Philadelphia, northeast to New York City in the uh, middle part of the night into the early morning hours. Again, that's associated with that frontal system. But notice here, by this time later on tonight, there will be 
uh, west to northwest flow of air already intensifying over the Ohio Valley. By tomorrow morning, that all moves into the Mid-Atlantic region. In fact, let's take a look. And here we go, the forecast map for tomorrow morning. A stiffening west to northwest wind will be noticeable here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Skies will clear, and with the return of sunshine, temperatures will jump into the 50s in most Mid-Atlantic locations. This time of the year, and as we progress over the next several weeks, we have certainly increasing strength in the sunshine. And anytime you go from a cloudy day to a Sunday day, odds are the temperatures will jump when you uh, become sunny. And that will be the case tomorrow. A uh, windy day with winds out of the west to northwest, but increasing amounts of sunshine will produce milder conditions throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. Those milder conditions will continue in the early part of the weekend, but then a strong cold front comes through and paves the way for a much colder week, colder than normal, uh, beginning on Sunday here in the Mid-Atlantic region and lasting all of next week. Again, a cold week coming up to close out the month of March. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.